So Dunn and Cesar going off on the international break in a couple of weeks. But first, they've got the Capital One Cup to play in. And we've been drawn against Sheffield United in this second round. Where we look to come out with another win against a lower league opposition, just like Walsall. But it's going to be more difficult than that. But I am giving Hassan his proper debut now. And also Carol and Irma are in as well. And from the start, Hassan showing how good he can be by putting off a great save. And then we broke with Carroll coming away, putting a great ball through onto Hoylet, who ran forward, tried to finesse it, but saved, fell to Cranshaw, who just volleyed into the back of the net at the near post. Nothing long could do, and Cranshaw knocking up another goal for QPR. Then came forward again, a few good passes, Pass through to Hoylet. Hoylet was seen to be the play playmaker at the moment. Pass back on to Barton, who took the shot, but saved. And eventually, and finally, Sheffield United got it away. But then Sheffield United came forward with a lot of menace, got the head on it. And there's nothing Hassan could do about that. Didn't get a strong enough hand. Probably could have done better. But in his first game, probably a bit of nerves. Has done pretty well so far. But Sheffield United are back in the game. And trying to knock us out of the cup. And again they came forward. But this time Hassan was perfectly placed. And got his hands on the ball. And eventually QPR got it away. And again we came forward. Trying to put this game to rest. Not sure if we could. Cranshaw got the shot on. Long save. But Austin right in place to head home. And we was doing a great job coming off the bench at the moment but that ended the game 2-1 put us through to the next round thankfully put us through but we would have to turn our attention now back to the championship and not think about who we might get in the next round or who we might be able to beat or whatever we had to concentrate back on the championship because we haven't been in very good form lately so we needed to bounce back and a chance was against Blackburn Rovers and we came forward trying to be as menacing and being as tacking as we could Jeff Fallin managed to get past those two defenders for cutting in and sending a great strike to the back post pretty much underneath the keeper nothing he could do Foul, Fallin getting that goal 1-0 up and then a mistake in the defence as Diakite picked it up but he could do nothing else but put it wide of the post frustratingly wide another long ball over to Barton took the strike and another save from the keeper we were proving to be a very much more attacking today as Diakite managed to find the head on to from the cross but only found the crossbar but Hoylet got put over the top and a lovely little volley into the back of the net to make it 2-0 and show that we were back and back in form at the moment. Another little chip over the top. Little bit of play, little bit of passing. Found its way to Austin who shot right across goal from behind him. Found the post and it took it nicely into the back of the net. And that is how it ended. A lovely 3-0 win to get us back on form back towards where we need to be and back fighting towards going back to the top of the table and we just need to keep this momentum going in the next few games I remember times when I never shined It was so hard to believe I didn't want to be lost in life I came out from underneath I felt the weight of the world Crashing down on me But now I'm looking out And it's my victory